just coming over. Pick his head, get I'm to the scared. What, what I, are we I, doing I think, right now? I think Adam Silver is scared. He's like, you sure? Yeah, we take you a little sure while. He's like, don't make me go out there and say don't this. Don't make me say this. Uh, I don't like <laughs> this. Is bad. Don't make this me is go bad. Out there and say this. Guys, this is bad. This is not good. This is not good. It's taking too long. He can't pronounce the name. That, Why is it taking so long? This is making me nervous now. I'm telling you, CK, CK. Please stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. I can't. Here we go. Yo. <laughs> here, we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's going to be Mel. Oh, God. Let's go. James Book Knight. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And they picked Usman Deng. <laughs> what? Usman Deng. Yo, oh, man. are we? Tra- oh, 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 we better be trading this dude. <laughs> There's no way we better be trading this dude. So they traded it. Pick. Okay. All right, people. All right. Woo! So they traded. I got down. my wish. They traded down. The OKC for multiple first round picks. Multiple huh? first round picks. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Hey, what's they traded the pick for more picks. Hang on here, people. The Thunder will send multiple first-round picks. Let's go. What is happening right now? Right. What is going on? Another Alice. trade back. Three years in a row, we've traded back. Yeah, Three they got you. Know, we traded back. Value. It's about getting that value, so it makes sense. <laughs> that Johnny yeah. Davis had to be their guy. Johnny Davis had to be there. Guy. I agree with you, Chris. On the Knicks oh. fan TV Discord. Oh, we got to Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Uh, Hold up. We go. Wait, Ian Begley. I can't keep yeah. up. Ian Begley, don't just confirm Jalen Duran is going to be a New York Nick. Nick. Oh, okay, okay, wait, okay. So I, 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 I Jalen Duran. Let's pull this. Let's pull this tweet up. Well, wait, Woj, Woj, Woj just Woj. said. Yeah, Woj, Woj just Woj. said the Pistons are acquiring Jalen Duran. Okay, so here it is. This oh. is the Ivy trade. This is the Ivy trade. What's happening? Here it comes. This is the so. Ivy trade. Yo, okay. Shams just Shams just tweeted out that That's Kemba Walker is also going to Detroit. Oh. Okay. 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 So hey, something. What is something. going on? Oh, no, it's just, it's salary. Are we salary? The pieces dumping? are coming out too slow, man. The yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, They're yo, trying to set up something yeah. big, yeah. man. But it's it it my heart right now. Honestly. They're setting it up, man. They're setting it up. Shams just retweeted. Oh, Knicks okay. acquired Jalen Duran and moved him with Kemba Walker to the Pistons. Yes. Sources yes. said. Got that one. Ooh, Got that one. What? Oh, he got trade. He, 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 he was on three teams. He was on three poor teams guy, man. He better keep all those hats. Three teams in a matter of minutes. Listen. You know what? You know, I'm taking a step back because don't get me hyped up for a salary dump in future picks. Right. Case, man. Right. Do not right. get me hyped up because they got rid of Kemba and, 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 and Burks and Nerlens Noel for future picks. If that's what it's going to come down to. <clears throat> I just need to know who we got back, at least in this trade, because yeah. it can't just be Kemba going out. We can't get anybody back in return. Just got to be something going on. I don't that's know. Maybe back. it's just a salary, just the, just the dump salary. I don't know. That that's what it seems like. All right, let's it see seems like that's what it is. I'm about to start looking up Sadiq Bay's contract. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Pistons are sending the Hornets to 2025 first round pick via Milwaukee in the Duran trade. Uh, the Detroit got that pick from Portland in Jeremy Green. Yeah. Tremendous coup for Detroit GM Troy Weaver to land two of his top targets in the draft: Jaden Ivy, Jalen Duran, going with Cade. With the cost of only a future first round pick. Look, man, I, I if this Kemba deal, you want to tell me you had to shed nine million dollars and you gave up a, a lottery pick to do that. That uh, like I said, I don't mind Brunson, but it's at what price to go get him. That I didn't like that. Like you we should not be trading lottery picks to dump nine million dollars to go because all he in. Papers, bro, he's washed. Yeah. He's what? They gave him a two-year guaranteed deal. I would have rather like the the Knicks draft somebody and, and then buy out Kemba rather than just attach a lottery. And now we don't have a lottery. We don't we don't have a lottery pick. Don't even know if we'll get back in the first round. All right now that we have is a 40-second pick. And if this is just to clear $25 million in cash space, because that's what Jake Fisher reported. Knicks are trying to clear 25. To clear $25 million in cash space to get Brunson. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Fisher did report that, that earlier this week. That I like Brunson. Like I said, I like Brunson, but just to get Brunson, 
not to go over paper. That, that's that's ridiculous. Again, we, we know that they are trying to clear up the space. That was always going to be a goal of uh, of this offseason is just for what? And they picked up additional draft picks for what? What what are they trying to do? It, it looks like we do have uh, – we got Shams Sharanya mm-hmm. tweeting out the final – uh, three picks that the Knicks received in the Usman Jiang trade. So yes. it looks like we got 2023 protected first rounder via Detroit, 2023 mm-hmm. protected first rounder via Washington, mm-hmm. 2023 protected first rounder via Denver. So, you know, this 2023 draft that does seem to be, might have some heavy hitters on it. It looks like we're going to be very much involved there. Maybe that's the the glimmer of the play. Who knows? Yeah. Tanking. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the play. They they punted for the better draft, and <clears> and <throat> it, it seems like you know, like like you guys are saying, it seemed like John, you know Johnny Davis was gone. That maybe this was Plan B. Yeah, that has to be it. I I think that was it because they you know they they worked him out and everything, and it seemed everyone mocked him to the Knicks. Yeah, so it, it maybe that's their guy, but that but that also falls into like if you if that's your guy and it's only one pick away, why not try to jump Washington? Cause that was always the fear. Like Washington got mocked. Donnie Davis got mocked to Washington a lot. So why not move up a spot or two, right. even if you got to give up a, a first or something, but if you think that's your guy, that's, that's the other thinking too. Like, so they gave up their pick. Okay. They gave up this year's pick to OKC. Mm-hmm. And then that they had to give up another first rounder in that deal to Charlotte. So, and it was a 23, 2023. So, so it was a 2023 Denver first round pick and the next 2023 second round pick that was given up with a 2023 Utah second round pick, 2023 Dallas or Miami second round pick, whichever is most favorable and a 2024 Knicks second round pick. So they only come away with the 2023, they come away with 2023 Detroit and Washington pick from that deal. I'm trying to like, find a glimmer of hope, but there's this. And like, if we know. couldn't trade up this year in this, in this Thank draft, you. right. In this, what yeah. makes you think next year is going to be easier I, when I there's, so you got scoop and, and all these guys, um, yeah, the, uh, curve. whitehead from dude, like you got all these dudes coming out next year, you know, uh, Mari Bailey from, uh, you know, you see like it, like, what makes you think it's going to be easy. It's not, it's going to be harder. Maybe it's gonna be worse. Cause now next uh, year, next year is blue. Like, franchise you know this year obviously these guys are talented and can be franchise but next year is like you know they're talking about victor like he's like the next savior like the next like lebron type prospect like the hope is that you can trade two three maybe all four depending on next season i doubt that it would be all four but you're gonna have four draft picks right theoretically if they all could if they if the other two convey you'll have four draft picks in the 2023 you got the knicks the dallas you got Detroit and you got Washington. I mean, you can try to package that. I don't know what you're going to get, but yeah, I don't know. That this is I a just, tough sell. Did you hear about the <laughs> protected pick CP? Heavy. They're heavily protected. Heavy. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You don't even want to know. Like heavily. it's so heavy that like it's not even worth like heavily. Heavy. Top fourteen so, for two out of three, and then top eighteen. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> can't no, man. Really you can't. know the, the, the thing is is that th- this front office they're not selling the fans on anything solid right now it, it's a combination of the coach and the front office you're not selling the fan base on anything solid we went the whole we went 37 and 45 with a vet, you know, you, you played Alec Burks at your point for 90% of the season. You're running Fournier out there. Julie's like, you went 37 and 45 and had no clear answers as to do we have a point guard in waiting and quickly McBride? Can we play Julius and Obi together in, in 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 spurts, longer spurts? Can we get Obi some more playing time? Like, yes, those guys had moments individually. Don't get me wrong. They had their shine and they definitely, you saw improvements there and you give Tibbs a little bit of credit there, but overall, like this front office, they haven't been able to sell us on anything positive. 
we just don't have a sense of direction as to where this team is going. And so that's why it's a much harder pill to swallow when they pack punt on a draft like this, because you still like, what do we have? Because the way I look at it, right, is that we traded a tw- top 20, what was it, top 18, 19 Charlotte pick for Cam Reddish. So to the Hawks, we a top protected pick got a, got the, got them off of a distressed asset, right? Someone that they didn't want to play, really that they didn't see part of their future plan. So is that what these top protected picks can be? Like, I don't know what they'll convey in down the road, but you can't tell me that the Wizards are going to be out of the lottery next season. There's a, there's a slight chance, but there's no way you're going to tell me Detroit is going to be in the playoffs because it's a top 18 protected pick next yeah. year. There's no way you can sell me on that. So what is the value of those picks that they can get you something in return if you're trying to package all these in a deal? I want to know also what they convey down into, right? Because like we know about the Dallas picks that you get two shots at first rounders and then it ter- conveys into two second rounders. Mm-hmm. So is that is that going to happen with these type of deals? If that's the case, what are we doing? Like, what is the plan? What is the actual plan? So, so basically, I was told I was told last offseason that the Knicks had a good offseason because they brought back continuity and they got team-friendly deals for Julius Randle, Evan Fournier, Nerlens Noel, Kemba Walker. And I was told that they were team-friendly deals and that we were good because we were building continuity. Now the Knicks are using their assets that we've sacrificed so much for to get off those team-friendly contracts <clears throat> to clear cap space for Jalen Brunson, who just so happens to be the godson of the, the president of basketball operations for the Knicks, CAA-related, Rick Brunson just got hired. This is literally a shakedown, bro. This is literally dude, what's going on right now. James Dolan is the guy, right? He's like your friend who has a lot of money, and he wants to pop bottles at the club. And Kid, Leon Rose, World Wide West, Steve Stout, they're the guys that don't even like him, but they go hang out with him just so they can drink off the bottle, bro. They're <laughs> taking this guy's money to take care of their family. That's what's going mm. on right now. Mm. They have no desire right whatsoever, now? no desire whatsoever to win for a championship, bro. We have we have we have eight guys or seven guys under the age of twenty five, and we decide to trade our assets, our young assets, draft picks, to make a win now move. For a guy who's never made an all-star team in his entire life, who you're literally buying at the highest point of value in their entire in his entire yeah, career. You're buying point. at the high point right now. It's got a point. To literally bring in a non-difference maker. It's absurd. Okay? It's absurd. All right. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. I don't even want to talk anymore, bro. This is stupid. Drops. Good night. Drops right. the mic on him. Uh the Knicks punted on this draft. You know, punted on this draft <laughs> That's a goal. For, for draft <laughs> capital. And, and again, the goal is to, to clear cap space for Jalen Brunson. There it is, folks. 